Hi everybody, we're Courtney and McKenna and we're back to talk to you about chick hatching for another week. Does anybody know what day it is inside of the eggs that are in your classroom? It's probably day eight or seven. You're either on day or seven or eight, right? And we're about the same stage of how our chick is growing in her egg. You can kind of see he's got his body there. Um, he's got his great big eyes, right, in his head. And he's starting to kind of develop his toes and his wings a little bit. Inside our fertilized eggs, many parts have been developing or growing. Like our bodies, each part of the growing chick will have a job or a function. To understand the parts and functions, we are going to do a dance. On the poster, we have here where I'm going to point out the toes and the claws of our chick in our rooster or our hen, right? It can be a boy or girl. Our chickens use their toes to dig in the dirt and find insects or worms to eat. Hens also use their toes to rotate the eggs that they may be laying on. Toes are for digging. We're going to demonstrate moving your feet back and forth on the ground as if you were pawing at the ground. So go ahead and under your desk kind of shuffle your feet back and forth. Next we want to point out the spur. The spur is a long claw on the back of the leg that is used for protection. Chickens can flap up and then use their spurs to claw at something that makes them feel threatened or might harm them. So demonstrate this when you're sitting at your desk by lifting up your foot in the air and showing where your spurs would be and say spurs are for protecting. All right, next we have feathers. Our feathers are gonna help keep our bird warm. They can also be used for looks. Males often have brighter feathers than females. Long tail feathers and the fluffing feathers can help a bird appear large and scary to a predator that may want to eat it. To demonstrate this, you're gonna push your chest forward while keeping your arms at your side and say, feathers are for warmth. Then we have the beak. The beak is used for pecking at food. Chickens live in groups and they often have a pecking order. The chicken who is the leader may sometimes peck at other birds to keep them in line or establish dominance. Baby chicks have a curved part on the end of their beak called an egg tooth and they use that to open up the egg shell and hatch. The egg tooth goes away as the chick grows. Demonstrate by holding your hand like a beak and bob your head and say beaks are for pecking. All right, next we have our comb and our waddle. Our combs are for temperature control. Does anybody know what that means? To control our body temperature, we sweat. Instead, chickens have areas of extra flesh called combs and waddles to help them regulate their body temperature. You're gonna demonstrate this by placing your hand on your head with your fingers up and you're gonna say combs are for temperature control. Now that we've gone over all of the parts of the chicken and the job that they do, we're gonna put them together in a song. This song is to the tune of Hokey Pokey. Does anybody know Hokey Pokey? Very good. As you call out each part, um, you're going to talk about what it does and then you're gonna sing a verse of Hokey Pokey to this. So we're gonna ask teachers if you need you to pause the video, maybe you need to um, stand up or beside your desk or move around a little bit, so we'll give you a minute to get situated. Okay, so McKenna and I are not gonna sing for you today, but we are gonna call up the parts. And so we're going to uh, give an example each time of what that is. And then teachers can pause the video and you can lead your students in singing this verse of Hokey Pokey. So the first one, toes are for? Digging. Our spurs are for? Protection. Our feathers are for? Warmth. Beaks are for? Pecking. And combs are for? temperature control. Now that we've learned about the parts um, that the chickens have and what they do with those parts, we're gonna look inside of our eggs to see if we can identify any parts and to see what's going on inside of our eggs. We're going to use a special tool called a candler. Now that we've learned how to candle an egg, remember that only our teachers will be candling eggs because we need to keep the eggs and the chicks inside of them really safe. But you'll get to candle them again in a few weeks and see how much they have grown. In the meantime, let's do a brief review of the parts of the chicken. So we have the toes. What are the purpose of the toes? For digging. We have the spurs that are for protection. 
The feathers to keep them warm. What our beaks were for pecking or getting out of the egg, right, for our chicks. And the combs help them to regulate temperature. That's right. So your chicks are going to keep growing and we'll see you back next week.